Okay, welcome to the webinar. Seeing a lot of thumbs up. Everybody seems very excited about our topics today. We have two great topics for you. So we will go ahead and get started. Uh, actually, let me introduce myself. <laughs> My name is Kostin Tukulescu. I am a VP of Product and Engineering here on the Any Meeting product line. And uh, as we mentioned, we'll be talking about some exciting announcements. Uh, as always, our lawyers have asked us to include this very exciting slide that this information is confidential and forward looking. Please go ahead, read it thoroughly. We're going to take just 10, 15 seconds here. Make sure everybody's on board with this awesome slide here from our lawyers. OK, good times. Let's keep going. Now, the fun part. Most of you are already webinar pros on our Any Meeting webinar platform. I see the thumbs up, everything's floating by. This is very exciting. But in case you haven't done it before, try it now. Try to use that cool emoji button. You can give us uh, you know, feedback on how we're doing. And look at that, it's coming through. All right, this is called engagement. This is what the marketing folks love. So thank you for that. You guys know how to use the emojis. Next is the Q&A button. You just hit that question button, enter your, your uh, whatever question you have for us, and I will answer it in about 25 minutes. My section will be about 25 minutes long, and we'll get to the Q&A. And then if you have any issues with your computer audio, click the phone button. You'll get information on how to dial in, and we're good to go. So let's dive in. Uh, I'm sure everybody knows what we're talking about here when, um, when, when we're going to get into this topic. Uh, remote work has just become the topic on everyone's mind due to the, due to the coronavirus uh, epidemic, pandemic, the COVID-19 pandemic, and everything is changing daily. Um, municipalities, governments are establishing new rules for conduct. Um, people are asked to stay at home, work from home, schools are closed. How do we do this? Well, uh, Intermedia has, has lots of partners. We've been working with you for a very long time. We've heard loud and clear that your customers need these solutions. And our goal is to help you help your customers by providing all of our tools uh, easily available to you and your customers. And we even have a very exciting announcement. Um, before we get to that, we've actually created the Remote Work Success Kit available on our website. So you will be able to go to this website, uh, get information about new tools that we've created for remote work and special offers. So we're very excited about the, the remote work success kit. Now, the big announcement that we sent out yesterday uh, where, we, where we feel we um, we're doing our part with the coronavirus uh, pandemic. We are announcing that between now and the end of 2020, we are offering Any Meeting Pro and our Webinar Pro for free to your customers and to your businesses. Um, we really thought about Intermedia's position as a cloud communication provider that creates these tools, and we said, what can we do? Um, and any meeting we felt was the tool that could quickly and easily enable your customers, your workforce to continue business productivity from their homes. And, uh, you know, just us doing our part to, to ensure that um, your customers can continue what they're doing. So uh, any meeting pro is our paid offering. Uh, our retail was, was $12.99. We're making it free for new customers. Uh, Webinar Pro is a very uh, generous offer, uh, traditionally $128 a month. This is a tool where you can host these types of events, phenomenal for uh, company all hands, marketing presentations, virtual events. We really encourage you to use all of these tools to, to make sure your customer's business is uninterrupted. I see a lot of questions coming in uh, through, the, through the chat. I would really ask you that you save the questions uh, for, for the end uh, or use the, the Q&A tool. 
So a, a few terms that I wanted to make sure you're aware of. And again, I see the questions coming in. We're probably going to answer all your questions in this webinar. So let's see if we, if we can minimize everything by the time we get to the end of it. Um, so this free offer applies to your company. So if you need video conferencing and webinar tools, you as an intermediate partner can have them. New accounts, if you're bringing in brand new customers to your business, they get free video conferencing and webinar. Existing accounts, we don't want you to lose revenue. We don't want intermediate to lose revenue that we already had. Um, we're, we're trying to be as altruistic as possible here without hurting businesses or like our existing business. So on existing accounts, you can enable new users on those accounts with free services, but existing users, because they committed to those plans and they budgeted for them, we feel that it's right that they stay on uh, a paid subscription. So new users can be lit up so they can work from home. Probably existing users are just fine. Um, for all the accounts and, and licenses that you light up, as of January 1st, 2021, they will turn into billable accounts, billable licenses. So just be very aware in November, December timeframe, we'll be sending out reminder emails, work with your customers so that there's no surprises, no unpleasant surprises come January uh, when these things start getting charged. If you're on an advisor model, and your customers are coming to Intermedia for support. These free offerings do not offer phone or chat support. They offer knowledge base articles and email support. This again, uh, I don't know if you've been seeing the news, Zoom is blowing up, WebEx is blowing up, Microsoft is blowing up. We are, we're trying to make sure that we can put as much good into the world uh, without um, completely overwhelming our processes and systems. So for now, free users will have access to our knowledge base and email, but please uh, try, try to fend off the calls. Uh, Intermedia does reserve the right to modify or cancel this offer. Um, we will not cut people off that we've already signed up, but we may decide to discontinue the offer uh, later in the year if it seems like it's no, it no longer makes sense. And one thing I really want you to be aware of, and we want your feedback about this, um, we really want all the end users to be trained up and know how to use the product very well. On our direct side, we found that when we send drip emails and just informational emails that teaches them how to use a feature, or makes them aware that they can record their meetings or that they've got, you know, ability to mute all the users, you know, just emails that tell them how to use the product. We found much higher engagement, much higher satisfaction from those users than users that don't get those emails. As it stands now, we don't uh, traditionally send emails to uh, emails such as those to our partners' customers. We will begin a white label campaign if you're on the PLR model with just a few emails to introduce the product, make sure they know how to use it, make sure they know what the features are, again, to limit the need for calling in for support and to get them using the product effectively. So. On the PLR side, we've never sent these emails before, but we will begin to do so. Uh, if, if you're not happy with this, please let us know. But um, we think this is good for all businesses involved. It'll help your business uh, limit support, uh, need for support, and it'll make your users happier. So just be aware of that. Um, so let's take a quick poll. <clears throat> let's jump in here. Do you currently offer remote work solutions to your customers? And we've got some fun choices. Yes, it's working great. Yes, but it needs to be improved. Not yet, but I'm planning on it. Or no, don't want to. There's no customer demand. Why am I here? So let's just see how this goes. I will share the, the percentages with you guys and I will give you another 10, 20 seconds more. So we've got some folks, it's working great. Um, hopefully any meeting will become a key part of your remote work solution for those that are already have it in place. And uh, for those that don't have it in place yet, this is our chance to uh, kickstart your programs. All right, moving right along. So as we know, 
why why are we doing this uh kicking off all these remote work programs well we do certainly live in interesting times right now with the coronavirus uh pandemic there's new urgency around work from home programs travel is just being completely minimized to the most essential and there's these quarantine situations or there's these uh, situations where you have to work from home you, you, you know can't go into the office uh, there's also other trends that have been longer term uh, that are driving remote work uh, mobile workforce uh, flexible hours and work styles dist uh, distributed organizations with multiple branch offices uh, you know these tools are enabling remote work and we, we just see this trend growing growing every day so we we strongly believe that even though all of these dynamics are in effect in the world right now using these tools effectively will allow businesses to continue to be productive and reach their goals a few statistics for you um, if you don't have a remote work program in place or if your your customers don't 90 percent of workers that were uh, sampled in this study said hey if uh, they, they would like to work from home at least some of the time. 86% of people feel that working uh, remotely reduces their stress. 76% of workers uh, would are, are happy staying at their employer if they could get more flexibility. And 69% of millennials would give up other benefits, such as raises, uh, for more flexible hours, remote work, flexible working space. So... Um, and then finally here, uh, you know, smaller companies, SMBs, are really twice as likely to hire uh, full-time remote workers. So hopefully these are in line with what you're seeing out there in the market, but it just reinforces that remote work is a very powerful trend. And we want to make sure, sure that you as our partners are fully up to speed um, with, with the tools that you need to, to be productive. Uh, we've, we've spoken about a lot of these benefits, but again, just to hammer it in, the cost effectiveness of remote work, you can give up some office leases, uh, you can give that flexibility and that employee satisfaction. Uh, they, there are many benefits to a remote workforce. And as we know, um, most businesses need remote capabilities. Uh, most owners, founders, they, they frequently work from home. Uh, the ability to skip going into the office is highly desired. Um, but when you're thinking about all the different things that can that, that need to be covered by the remote work solution, make sure you're thinking about the various customer demos and presentations. How are we going to do that? How are we going to do team meetings and group discussions, one on ones? Uh, how are we going to do our project management and how are we going to do co company wide communications? So when you're building your program for your customers, these are key things to consider. And Intermedia does solve a majority of these problems. So now let's dive in and talk about exactly what a remote worker would need to be productive in their day to day. Um, we will start with just the right space. It's key that you're able to find a place in your home that can become your office. You, you can create that mental separation uh, away from distractions. Uh, if you have children, dogs, be able to, to find that quiet space. Good Wi-Fi is critical. Um, good connectivity from your internet provider. And if you're doing a lot of video meetings, if you can go even beyond Wi-Fi and be wired in, that would eliminate packet loss and other networking issues. So highly recommend that. You want a, a nice computer. Ideally, dual monitors have been shown to improve productivity between 30 to 50%. Uh, a great ergonomic chair if you're sitting there for eight hours a day. Great headset is important, especially if there's noise. And a good high quality webcam. You know, anything in the $40, $50 range is going to give you some really great results. And we'll talk about lighting in just a minute. Um, one thing that I recommend is, is don't just start working as soon as you get out of bed. Try to establish a routine where you start your day off right, where um, you, you still have your time before you begin work. That means uh, get up, have a cup of coffee, take a shower, get dressed, groom yourself as needed, uh, eat breakfast, you know, 
to try to maintain that psychological separation between um, home and work. Then it's really about maintaining that balance and that separation. So um, it's so easy to just go to the fridge, grab something, and, and continue on your laptop, continue on your work. I highly recommend establish your breaks, establish your lunch routines, step away to, to maintain that um, separation and reduce that stress. Keep regular hours, um, although a lot of us can often fail to do that. I highly recommend, you know, have, have a uh, specific start time, specific end time to your day and honor those hours. You can check in with your team, make sure you're communicating uh, throughout the day. And then at the end of your day, because you've eliminated things like uh, a commute, make sure you get some fresh air, especially in this time where we are very cooped up. Get out there, get a jog in, a bike ride. Um, highly recommend also making sure you're focusing on your health. <clears throat> time management is also very important when you're by yourself. Uh, perhaps you're used to having a manager help you or, or uh, set up your day. But I find it very helpful to break up my day between uh, three different types of work. There's meeting time when I'm being highly collaborative and just either on calls for several hours out of my day, video conferences, uh, screen shares. And that's the time where you're just ready to interact with people. For some people, this is early in the morning when they have most energy, most caffeine. Um, for some, maybe it's later in the day. So find the right when you have the most energy to collaborate. The working time is when you need to get your stuff done. You need to knock out a spreadsheet. You need to implement something. Uh, block that off using do not disturb features on your computers, on your phones. Turn off messaging, turn off email, and, and try to have at least solid blocks of a couple of hours every few days a week for working time. And then there's something that I consider, you know, creative thinking time where um, you, you focus on the big picture. You focus on, you know, what are things I need to be thinking about a month in advance, three months in advance. Make sure you have spots on your calendar established even for those as needed. And again, using your calendar is critical. Like literally block this, uh, literally block this on your calendar um, so that people aren't coming in and taking those times away from you. This allows you to be proactive and control your time instead of other people controlling your time. Um, and finally, you know, use the tools. Uh, our products have a, a presence indicator. So if you're busy, set yourself to busy so that people know not to disturb you. So video conferencing, I love video conferencing. Let's talk about what you need to do to look sharp in all of your video meetings, uh, just like this, this guy. So try to have your camera on top of your monitor. If you have a laptop, that's pretty much solved for you. But the camera on top of the monitor helps you establish like you're looking at the person, you're trying to have some eye contact and uh, makes it much, much more natural. Then take the uh, video conferencing application and position it under the monitor so that, you know, we have a tendency to look at ourselves a lot. As you can tell in this webinar, I kind of, I'm talking to myself, I'm looking at myself, but if your eyes are looking as close as possible towards the camera, that again, gives you the most natural video conferencing experience. Uh, if you're sharing content using screen sharing, a second monitor, like I said, is great for that. So you can Keep looking at the person you're looking at uh, and then look at the content when you're speaking about the content and then back to, to that person. Make sure you're centered in the frame. There's some applications out there that allow you to control your, your webcam settings so you can zoom in and tighten the shot as needed. Uh, get you know, Make sure you're familiar with those. And even though I keep recommending headsets as the best audio and I'm not using one, it is the best audio. I highly recommend using a headset for best audio. Um, people need to get used to being on camera. I mean, unless you're kind of the early millennials at this stage, uh, I'm, I'm 42. I haven't been on camera that much. Um, so people need to get comfortable. You need to test your camera setup constantly. 
not constantly, but at least initially, um, make sure everything's looking right and meet with a colleague. Do a test meeting so that everything looks good. Everybody can see you uh, well. Make sure there's nothing too awkward or unprofessional behind you. And, uh, and since we're talking about the camera, make sure you actually do turn on your camera in your in your meetings. So most applications allow you to either just do an audio call or add video. Uh, there are a number of statistics that show when video is enabled, you get better engagement, you get le less multitasking, and you get a more productive remote meeting. So I highly encourage you to turn on the camera, even though we're all a little bit self-conscious, uh, you know, looking at yourself is like, oh, is, is that really me? Uh, turn it on. It, it's all good. Lighting. Lighting. Right now, I'm fortunate that in my home office, I have a, a big window on the other side of this camera. And so the lighting's really nice right now. Uh, try to avoid having the window behind you. Uh, avoid backlighting. Watch out for harsh, right? Uh, harsh lighting. You know, you don't want to go for that. Um, you know, Emperor Palpatine look from Star Wars, you know, kind of looking like you're up to something very evil. Uh, I had one of these yesterday. I didn't lock the door to my office and I was meeting with my CEO and my kids barged right in. Uh, so, and here's this poor guy who was presenting to the BBC and his kids and his wife all barged in. Try to avoid that by setting either like a post-it note on the door uh, if you want to invest in an on-air sign, those are fun. Even better, you can lock your door um, because kids, pets, interruptions will happen. I will say when you're meeting with your team, you know, your colleagues, and it's not a high pressure, high level presentation, I do bring my kids on camera and I do say, hey, say hi to everybody, you know, and I introduce them. It's, it's just being human. You know, it shows that we're not just business people. Uh, we do have a life. And when you're working from home, that just blends together. So own it and introduce, you know, your kids, your pets to your colleagues. And I'm sure they'll enjoy it and they'll probably do the same and it'll bring you closer together as a team. Um, another key thing when you're meeting virtually and you're talking about certain topics, share your screen. Uh, our platform allows you to share screens or applications with one click. Uh, you know, that instantly gets people on the, on the same page. Well, you know, now we know what we're talking about because we're looking at the same thing. Uh, our platform also allows for annotation. You can draw on the screen, uh, point things out. And we also give remote control ability so you can collaborate on things like a PowerPoint or an Excel file, et cetera. So um, the final pro tip here is, Make sure you know what you're sharing. We do have a little preview window there that shows which screen or which application is being shared. Make sure you're sharing what you think you're sharing. A uh, few more tips for running a great uh, online meeting. Um, the chat in the meeting application is great for exchanging links, uh, typing in specific numbers, uh, and anything that you wanna see in writing. You can use the chat or you can use the notes tool that's built into our product. Um, and, and really tracking the notes is very, is very powerful. We've also recently rolled out a transcription feature that will word for word create a transcript of the meeting and create meeting insights, which are, um, it's, it's essentially follow-up items or action items that were discovered in the meeting. So, uh, all of these tools, manual notes or our AI based notes will help you have a more productive and capture all the follow-ups for that meeting. Uh, one tip here from our CMO, don't put yourself on hold. If you're on, on a PBX that might have hold music that just ruins the entire meeting for everybody else. A few more, few more tips. Uh, if there's multiple people in the room with you, just make sure to announce everybody that's in the room. Don't take calls, you know, it's putting the conference on mute and taking another call. Um, it may show everybody else that maybe you don't value their time as much. So we don't want to do that. Try to stay engaged. Uh, try to limit multitasking. 
as I mentioned earlier, having your camera on automatically limits your multitasking because it's, you know, it helps you show everybody that you're focusing. Um, just like this, the screen sharing tip to, to know what you're sharing, know when you're muted and know when you're unmuted. Make sure you're looking at the application settings and, and that there aren't any surprises like you are actually unmuted when you thought you were muted. That could be very embarrassing. And when the meeting is done, just double check. If you think everything's turned off, double check. So again, no surprising, uh, embarrassing moments. Um, sometimes if you want to work from your backyard, you want to work from the park, our, our platform also supports mobile meetings with video conferencing up, up to 12 videos on mobile. You can see the screen sharing, um, Bluetooth audio, take all your meetings on the go. So that, that I believe is kind of the summary of how to run really great meetings from home as a remote worker. We will continue talking about a few more topics here. But um, just, you know, meetings are my jam. Hopefully that was very helpful to you guys. Um, you're all very familiar with Intermedia Unite. Um, the comp you know, as we've talked about remote work and remote meetings, we can't not talk about the full solution that Intermedia brings to the market, um, which is an entire Cloud PBX system, chat, meetings, uh, uh, and, and files. So I want to make sure we touch upon a couple of things that relate to remote work with this platform. Team chat is becoming kind of the, one of the de facto communication standards. When I need to get a quick answer, I pop into Unite. I just ask a quick question. Within seconds, I have my answer instead of writing up a whole email and, and, and trying to get, get a hold of folks with a call or a meeting. So make sure you, your customers are aware of the chat and SMS capabilities that are built into Unite. Uh, they make you know, working remotely just so much easier. And we do have emojis. I'm a big fan of emojis. Again, it humanizes the entire experience. Uh, leverage those emojis. The mobile app, you can take um, all your calls, your meetings, everything on the go. There's both the Unite mobile app and the uh, Any Meeting mobile app. Uh, those two work in tandem with each other, but you can have your chat, your calls, your voicemail, uh, all your extensions, all your colleagues, your presence, uh, all on the go. Very, very slick. And our desktop apps. So when you're working from home all day long, you just you really want to just have your setup at your desk. You can use the desktop app as a call controller or um, as a soft phone itself. Place and receive all your calls through your computer. Very powerful. Then immediately launch a meeting. Very powerful. It's like your entire office operating system uh, all in one place. And I'm very, very excited uh, to announce that we have a, a really nice improvement coming soon to Unite and our Secure Sync integration. Currently in Unite, uh, you're able to open the Secure Sync web app in your browser. But very shortly within Unite, you will have all your files. Uh, you can share with your colleagues. You can open them. Uh, you can review them straight out of Unite. You never have to leave that context. So that really gives Unite uh, an incredible uh, broad scope in a knowledge worker's daily workflow because Unite covers their chat, their meetings, and their files, uh, their voice calls, voicemails, um, and, and even things like receptionist mode, a very broad, powerful, all-in-one solution for collaboration and remote work. So to recap, I'm at my 30-minute mark here. Um, we're giving away video conferencing uh, and online meetings for free for the remainder of 2020. Um, we're, we're including our webinar plan for that. So we really want to enable your customers to be productive. Uh, what's happening in the world right now is, you know, honestly, it's a little scary. Uh, we wanna keep everybody safe. Intermedia is doing this so that uh, everybody can just work, stay productive, stay safe, we, you know, even though we're, we're not charging for this, uh, we encourage you to do as much good out there. You, you control your pricing, but we do encourage you to potentially pass through th this free offer directly to your customers and give them what they need. 
it's goodwill, it's the right thing to do, and this will ultimately uh, grow everyone's business. So um, there's that. Um, to make it easy for you to get the word out to your customers, our phenomenal channel marketing team have built an awesome campaign in a box for you that includes email nurture tracks, white papers, social media content, website content, imagery. Um, they've, they've packaged all of this up and it's available in your uh, partner sales portal. So uh, where you've gotten your assets before, it's there, ready to go. And I'm gonna skip this slide because we're gonna give you guys all the links you need at the end of the webinar. And let's go into the Q&A. Um, I know my colleagues are waiting to do their portion. We also have a, a contact center portion of the webinar here today. That is gonna be awesome. So stick around for that. I'm gonna try to do about five minutes worth of Q&A here quickly and, uh, and, and see how many of those I can answer. So I'm gonna jump to the audience questions. Um, so Herb asks, only new customers, what if they have existing accounts? So if a customer has an existing account and they're currently already paying for some video conferencing licenses, our terms say they can get new video conferencing licenses, licenses for free, but they need to continue to pay for the ones that they already signed up for. Um, so hopefully that answers your question on that. Um, um, we've got questions about once it becomes billable in January, will we honor the volume agreement and price and all that? And yes, we will. Uh, all, all the pricing stays the same once it kicks over to 2021. Okay. <clears throat> Bear with me. Uh, Kim asks uh, on the PLR side, will the emails go out as the partner or under intermediate name? The emails will most likely go out coming from online meeting, which is our, our white label tool. So you're as a PLR partner, you're selling online meeting. It'll just come from no reply at gomeet.com, which is the domain for online meeting. There will be no intermediate branding, no information about intermediate on it whatsoever. Thank you, Kim. I see the thumbs up. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Bruce asks, please clarify, one webinar pro license per account for existing customers. Can this license be assigned to an existing user? Um, hmm, you know, there's all of these case, edge cases. Uh, I'm just gonna say you can add a user and you can give them a Webinar Pro license uh, for free. If they already had a Webinar Pro license, they should continue to pay. Uh, we don't want you to lose revenue and we don't wanna lose revenue. Um, so really this is all about on the new side or growing existing uh, accounts so they can have more users that are enabled with these phenomenal tools. Hope that makes sense to you, Bruce. Peter asks, can we upgrade starter to pro at no charge? Peter, yes, you can. So if you have a hex user or a unite user that has a starter, <clears throat> you can give them uh, any meeting pro. Um, okay. Jeremy asks a very interesting question. Clarify that free online meeting pro is for customers who currently have or are ordering Elevate UC. This is not a standalone free online meeting offer for the public. So Jeremy, this is for both. So if you have an Elevate customer, you can take their meeting starter and upgrade it to meeting pro on Elevate. If you have a brand new customer and all they need is video conferencing, you can bring them in. So yes, it is for standalone uh, free online meeting. We want everybody who needs a video conferencing to be able to have it through these hard times. Curtis, I see you have a question about SIP accounts, United Voice Only. We will get back to you on that. Uh, 
Um, somebody asked, when activating a new customer, do we select standalone online meeting as the option? If that's all you're planning to add, you can put them on the standalone online meeting plan. Um, or you can put them on a Unite plan or some other plans, and uh, most likely online meeting will be free when you add that license. And if it's not, please reach out to our PAMs, and uh, they will help you with that, our partner account managers. Kim asks, if a user already had hosted Exchange and wants to add any meeting, is the freebie available? Yes. So if you have hosted Exchange, give them... Give them Meeting Pro as well so they can become power users. Any concerns about the added requirements on your internet bandwidth when using these two apps? Asks Joe. So, um, Joe, there will be added uh, bandwidth requirements, absolutely. So, hopefully, your customers have the bandwidth they need for video meetings. Uh, there are huge benefits to video meetings. Um, so if they don't have it today, hopefully they see the value in increasing their uh, internet bandwidth. Okay, and um, there's a few here I won't be able to get to because I'm over my time. Uh, the recording will be available, and any questions I did not answer now, will uh, we will address them after the webinar via email. So thank you for your time, everybody. It's, it was great to present to you and let you know about these great offers. Uh, and now I will pass this over to my colleagues, Joe and Adam.